Good morning and welcome to all. Parrots are pleasant birds to see, with their brightly colored plumage and proud appearance when perched. Although we often tend to think that there are not many species of these birds, apart from the famous macaws, the world of parrots is much more diverse than you might think. Some species of parrots are even extraordinarily beautiful and unique. Have you ever seen a Rosalbin's cockatoo, a feathered parakeet, or a golden conure? No? That's what we're going to discover together in today's video. Make yourself comfortable and bring your peanuts because here are the 10 most incredible and unique species of parrots in the world. Let's get started. Native to New Zealand, this parrot, also known as an owl parrot, is the largest parrot in the world. Its name, Kakapo, means night parrot in the Maori language because it is a nocturnal bird. It is characterized by its beautiful green and yellow plumage and by its size which can reach 60 centimeters, while its weight can reach 4 kilograms in the male. The Kakapo lives in the wild on the islands off the coast of New Zealand. Its life expectancy can be up to 100 years. It cannot fly, however, it can run thanks to its strong legs. It also has an excellent sense of smell. The kakapo feeds on fruits, seeds, bulbs, including rimu berries, a plant that grows in New Zealand and is responsible for good health and fertility in these birds. Moreover, it seems that this endangered species, which was thought to be extinct long ago, has recently enjoyed an abundance of food, thanks to global warming. Knowing that females only mate every two to four years, when they have enough rimu berries, this warming has led to a record number of births, according to some New Zealand scientists. We will, therefore, see a proliferation in the population of this bird, which is closely monitored and enjoys great protection in New Zealand. In the tropical rainforests of northern Brazil, lives this magnificent bird with its unique bright yellow plumage that stands out from the green foliage. The golden conure is a small wild parrot that measures some 36 centimeters and weighs less than 300 grams. It feeds mainly on fruits, berries, seeds, and nuts. Although it is sometimes thought that this active bird is not especially social, it is nevertheless considered that it can live perfectly well in a group. Two or three pairs of golden conures can live together and raise their young together. The golden conure can sometimes live up to 30 years. However, it is one of the most endangered species of parrot, particularly because of deforestation that is destroying its habitat. In fact, a few years ago, it was estimated that there were only 2,500 golden conures left in the wild. There are not only yellow, blue, or green parrots, there are also black parrots. This forest bird with dark and beautiful plumage is one of the largest parrot species, weighing up to 1 kilogram. It usually lives in small groups in the forests of northern Australia and New Guinea. On the other hand, it nests in natural cavities that already exist because it is unable to dig holes in trees. The black cockatoo feeds on seeds, nuts, and fruits, especially those from some palms. It is characterized by its beautiful black plumage and its beautiful spiky crest on its head. But what most distinguishes this bird, besides its plumage and the beautiful hoopoo, is its ability to play music during the breeding season. Indeed, to seduce the female, the black cockatoo creates percussions with a carved wooden stick. An original means that would not exist in any other animal. Look at this. There are some five subspecies of red-tailed black cockatoos that are officially recognized. However, a new subspecies has just recently been discovered in Australia. According to scientists, this new breed does not have the same genetic makeup like the other subspecies. Some of the genetic data, which were extracted from these specimens, were even more than 100 years old. Scientists will then focus on studying this new subspecies, which should enable them to find the conservation strategies necessary for the survival of this bird. Before we continue, here's the question of the day, which of these great birds is the emblem of Australia? Option A. Ostrich. Option B. The Swan. Option C. Emu. Choose the option you think is correct and we will see if you have answered correctly at the end of this video. This species of macaw, native to Bolivia, is one of the few parrot species in the world. This magnificent bird with its olive green and red orange plumage in places usually lives in groups. It measures about 60 centimeters and weighs up to 650 grams. It lives mainly in a very restricted area of the Andes, in semi-arid mountainous areas near water. 
there. It can live at an altitude of 1,000 to 2,500 meters and nest on cliff faces or rocky crevices. Its ability to fly vertically allows it to reach sometimes up to 3,000 meters. To feed itself, it needs cactus, fruits, and seeds, but also other plants such as vegetables, corn, and peanuts. This is why it is often found near crops. The Lafrene macaw is a species in danger of extinction, in particular, because of the degradation of its habitat. It is also captured illegally for the ornamental bird trade. However, this species is now the subject of a conservation program in Bolivia that aims to protect it and its habitat. Pesquet's parrot, also known as the Dracula parrot, owes its name to its magnificent black and bright red plumage that looks like a vampire's cape. It is one of the most beautiful species of parrots in the world. This majestic bird, which is not at all a vampire, measures about 50 centimeters and weighs between 600 and 800 grams. It is one of the three species of parrots with a featherless face. The Dracula parrot lives only in the mountains of New Guinea, generally at an altitude of 600 to 1,200 meters. It feeds mainly on seeds and fruits and is particularly fond of figs. It can live up to 40 years. Unfortunately, this magnificent parrot is the target of poachers who hunt it for its magnificent feathers used in ritual ceremonies. Dracula parrots are also hunted for their meat or to be sold as pets. Poaching, as well as deforestation that endangers its habitat, make this parrot one of the most vulnerable species. It is mainly in Australia, near water points, that we can find this magnificent parrot. This small bird averages 35 centimeters in length and weighs less than 400 grams. It is characterized by its long tail, broad wings, and pale pink hoopoo on its head. It feeds mainly on seeds, grains, or fruits, sometimes on larvae and insects. It is also a bird capable of flying quickly. Also, it is a monogamous animal that stays with the same partner for life. The beauty of its pink plumage, as well as its gentle and sociable character, make it one of the parrots used as a pet bird or aviary bird. Its life expectancy can be up to 60 years or more in captivity, while in the wild, it can lie from 20 to 30 years. The blue-headed lorikeet, also known as the rainbow lorikeet because of its brightly colored plumage, is one of Australia's most colorful birds. It is a small bird that weighs between 100 grams and 175 grams and is usually less than 30 centimeters tall. It lives in groups in wooded areas where the vegetation is not very dense, but also in parks and gardens. It feeds mainly on fruit, pollen, and nectar, which can suck up with its brush-like tongue. To find food, these nomadic birds do not hesitate to travel great distances until they reach trees in bloom or bearing fruit. In fact, they can help to pollinate trees and shrubs by carrying the pollen they feed on from one flower to another. With its splendid flaming crest and beautiful white plumage tinged with salmon pink, the leadbeater cockatoo deserves to be on our list. This magnificent bird, which is endemic to Australia, owes its name to the English naturalist Benjamin Leadbeater. This parrot is distinguished by the rounded shape of its wings and tail, as well as by its small size of about 35 centimeters. It weighs only about 500 grams. It can live up to 300 meters above sea level. On the other hand, it prefers to live in forested areas as well as in semi-arid to arid regions with trees present along rivers. To feed, it uses its powerful hooked beak to extract insect larvae from tree branches. It also feeds on pine or melon seeds, grasses, and cereals. The leadbeater cockatoo can live up to 70 years. During the breeding season, a pair of this species of parrot can often have a territory of about 2 kilometers, just for the two of them. But outside this period, this bird is sociable. In fact, groups of 10 to 50 birds can sometimes be found. On the other hand, it is a demanding bird that generally only likes to live in pairs. Those who decide to tame one should also be aware that it is a very sensitive animal that cannot bear to be upset or to stay alone because it gets bored easily. This is why it requires a lot of attention from its master. In addition, he must have his own space, with perches of course and lots of toys. At first glance, it looks like a feather duster or a broom with shimmering colors, but think again. It is indeed an extraordinary species of parrot, called feather duster, chrysanthemum parrot, or even feather duster by the Anglo-Saxons. This parrot is one of the most incredible birds that exist on our planet because of its magnificent long and abundant plumage. And yet, it is a mutation that is said to be at the origin of this unusual growth of feathers. 
But scientists still don't know the true cause of this anomaly. Some also believe that it may be due to recessive discomfort due to repeated and unmoderated use of long feather crosses during mating. This characteristic represents a real handicap for this bird because it prevents it from leading a normal life like its congeners. Indeed, because of its abundant plumage that also covers its face and eyes, the feathered parakeet is unable to fly, see normally or perch. Sometimes, it is even unable to feed itself. Unfortunately, because of all these factors, feathered parakeets cannot live long. They were the 10 most incredible and unique parrot species in the world. Did you know some of them before today? Which of these colorful birds did you admire the most? Would you like to tame one in your own home? Leave us your answer in the comments. And finally, here's the answer to the question of the day. If you chose option C, then you answered correctly.